For those new to cryptocurrencies, the misconception that you need to buy a whole Bitcoin to own one is surprisingly common. It can also be very off-putting to those who lack the necessary funds. It is also very, very wrong. You don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin if you don't want to. You can just buy a fraction of one. It's not that much different than buying a slice of pizza, half a pizza or a whole pizza, except you can't eat it. Bitcoin is like any other currency. Local currencies break down into pieces, pounds break down into pence, dollars and euros into cents, and so on. One Bitcoin divides into Satoshis, equal to 0.1 BTC, or 100 millionth of a Bitcoin. Exchanges let you buy cryptocurrencies with a specific amount of your local currency. So if you want to spend, for example, $1,000 and the price of Bitcoin is $10,000, you'll get 0.1 BTC. Or you can say 10 million Satoshis if it makes you feel richer. You can also specify the amount of cryptocurrency you want to buy. The price of Bitcoin has gone up significantly over the past few years. As the value of one Bitcoin increased to be useful for day-to-day -day transactions, people started using smaller units. Breaking it down into smaller units keeps Bitcoin usable as the price rises. When it was worth next to nothing, people might use hundreds or even thousands of Bitcoin for a single transaction. Now it's standard to just use a tiny part. Bitcoin units of measurement follow the international system of units, a global measurement standard used for centuries. The most commonly used units are Bitcoin, but sometimes it's expressed in bits, satoshis, or other way. At the moment, most Bitcoin platforms, including Luna, only use Bitcoin as a unit of measurement, e.g. 1 BTC, 0 0.0023 BTC, and so on. Do you have any crypto-related questions? Drop a comment down below. And of course, please like and share. Thanks for listening. Cheers.